Well, the Republic of Ireland are on their way from Gibraltar with three points in the bag after Jeff Hendricks' goal. The only goal of the match. It came four minutes into uh, the second half. We thought from that point of view that there would be more for uh, Mick McCarthy's Irish team, but that didn't turn out to be the case. Richard Dunn, give me your view on what we've witnessed. Um, feels like a false start, really. Mm -hmm. you, you think the start of the second half, we were going... We get lucky with a great save and then we scored a goal and then you think, right, everyone relax and everyone open up and start to play and it just didn't happen. There was no more there was no no more creativeness in the team. There was they didn't sort of win the ball high up the field. We just didn't seem to be playing on the front front foot, which is what I would have expected from from mixed team. And it's almost like we spoke about before, it's like a pre-season game before the, the actual competition starts on um, Tuesday night. So you would, the, the players will improve and they'll get better and the formation will, will, will get easier for them and, and all the pieces will come together. Tonight looked like a trial run and they were practising and they, they didn't seem to click as, as well as we thought we and they might that, have. And has that surprised you? Should that happen at this level? It's a qualifier for a major tournament. Mm. It's not surprised me. It, it, it's a very difficult thing because as as much as training sessions are good and and are helpful and you can get your points across, you need to play games. And we haven't played a game for a long time. We haven't played under Mick in a, in a very long time. So it's a new it's a new style. It's a new it's a new freedom for the players, which they've probably not not had for a, in eighteen months. Maybe mm. where they've been restricted in what they can do. And now they're being told, right, go, go and express yourself, go and play. And that it might just take another couple of games just for it to fully click. But tonight is a, is a beginning and it's a win and it's, it's important that we won the game. And hopefully we look at it after Tuesday's game and judge this, this week on the two games rather than the 90 minutes tonight. Mm. Like, we, you know, we, all through, Stephen, the, the match, you could hear George and Jim talking about the conditions. We could hear the wind howling around on those microphones that they place around the pitch. And it was a huge hindrance in the first half because we're playing into it. Yeah. In the second half, it seemed to be almost at times even more of a hindrance because everything, well, not everything, but a lot of stuff was over hit. Mm. Even simple little passes, it was kind of yeah, sloppy. Yeah, we were sloppy, but even when it was on the ground, we were taking touches and flicking balls off the pitch and just things that we just need to take more care of. And like I said, it is a new system, it's a new change, it's a new manager, so there's a lot of variations that are happening there. You know, it's, it's a change for Ireland, but we, I think some of the players out there would have tried to give a better, would have liked to give a better account to them for their first game in front of Mick because it was an opportunity for players to mark themselves in the team and get a goal or do something special so that it gets the attention of the manager and puts you in contention of being a starting they won the first 11 on the pitch and you know I think that was probably a missed opportunity for some of them.